The potential of a product as a service is huge. Uh, the way we do business today is only within a very short period of the equipment's lifetime. So we do the uh, creation and we do the installation and then we leave it to the customer. There is another 20 years where we can uh, add service and, and value to our customers with the service systems. Arsted is a family-owned company with a hundred years of legacy. We are situated in Farm Denmark and we produce production line and equipment for the uh, confectionery, chocolate and uh, bakery industry. We are getting uh, help to this uh, product as a service project through MADE with uh, assistance from PhD from DTU and with the Force Technology as a partner in the project. I'm David, I'm an industrial PhD at Ofsted and a DTU uh, and I'm working on the development of sustainable product service systems. Product service system is an offering in which you sell products together with services rather than just products. We can offer a variety of services including maintenance, repair, uh, inspection and all, the, all those services can be based on monitoring uh, devices that we can sell to the customers which would then provide us with insights on how to actually optimize their machines uh, once we go out there and maintain them. We want to incorporate product service systems for mainly three reasons. Uh, one is that we want a more reoccurring revenue. Uh, secondly, we want uh, to have more benefit of our equipment, so our customers have uh, more output and better quality. And lastly, we want to uh, work with the knowledge we have shared with our customers and attract new people here at Arsted. Everything we do here at Arsted, we assess on a triple bottom line. So we evaluate the, the profit, the, the people impact and the environmental impact. We call it the people, planet, profit, bottom line. And this project uh, helps us assess the service offerings on these three parameters. So we've developed a tool uh, together with Force Technology which will help us to screen different product service system concepts and select the one that's the best. But we've been also working on uh, selecting the product from the Asted's wide product portfolio on which we could uh, focus on and which has the most potential for further implementation as a service. So we chose a tempering machine. It is one of the products that we sell the most and it is the product that we sell in many different categories. It has a lot of uh, opportunities to test out our ideas and new solutions. So at Austed we are looking at three different clusters of product service system offerings. The first one being product oriented, the second one use oriented and the third one result oriented. The first one would be just combining service agreements with the products that we already offer today, meaning that we offer a service like maintenance and installation commissioning with uh, already existing products. The second one is more closer to leasing, where we would retain the ownership of the product and then provide through life services uh, for the product that we lease out and also be responsible at the end of life of that product. And the third one, the result oriented, is the one where we uh, sell and offer functionality and performance rather than just the product. And then we are fully responsible and uh, incentivized to make it as efficient and as, as good as us, uh, for us as possible. From the three main clusters of different types of uh, product service systems that we could offer, at the finish of my project we would have a clear picture on which one to choose uh, and move forward into the deployment phase. Our ambition with this project is that we want uh, at least 50% of our profit to come from service offerings. Uh, no later than 2030. We think that it's uh, possible to have 100 million Danish kroners a year coming from uh, service systems.